This is part one of a multi-part example on bidirectional control for MakerPlot. For this example, we'll be using our standard Arduino Uno, but once again, you can use any controller that you happen to have, whether it be a PIC, Basic Stamp, Basic X, Pickaxe, or whatever. So what we're going to do here is show you the basics of bidirectional control to begin with. This will be kind of a defining video for that. And then in succeeding videos, we'll show you exactly how you can affect bidirectional control between your Arduino and MakerPlot. All right, let's get to MakerPlot. We've brought up our interactive interface, which is a little bit different from the other interfaces we've been dealing with up to now, simply because on the right-hand side, you'll see a series of LEDs, some toggle switches, or joystick control. And these indicators really don't react to the analog and digital signals like the other interfaces do. They're really designed more for experimenting with how we can actually make MakerPlot communicate with your microcontroller in an interactive bidirectional basis. One of the features of this particular interface is the fact that all of these controls, as we call them, the text tips are labeled with the name of the control. For example, under this LED, this is LED3, so that is the name of the control. And even though this says LED3 below it, this is really the text box for the LED above it. And it's labeled TXT LED3. So each one of these controls has their own text tip which is really the name of the particular control, which is going to be very important to realize once we get into actually doing interactive control with MakerPlot. What we've done to begin with is change our Arduino sketch to include some of the new functions that we'll be using to communicate with MakerPlot. They begin right here in the setup. And that is right after the serial begin 9600 baud. It starts with a delay of two seconds to allow the connection to stabilize. Then it uh, goes on to do a print line, which sends out a blank carriage return to clear out any garbage that might be in our data queue and maker plot. Then we have a series of instructions. After that, the first one is a reset which is a exclamation point RSET. That is our reset command for MakerPlot. And now we get into something that we haven't done before. And that is how to control actual controls or buttons or switches on MakerPlot. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to control the minute button on MakerPlot. And let me switch back over to MakerPlot what we're talking about is this minute button that controls the time axis. So these next controls are going to control that particular button. What we're going to do is we're going to set the minute button to a 1, which means we're going to turn that object on. And then we're going to do a run, which means we're going to run the event code to configure minutes and turn off the other two, which are the hours and seconds. The next thing we'll, we'll do is change the time on our X axis from whatever it is to two minutes. That's the TXT max equal two. That's going to set our time to two minutes. Then to affect that, we're going to do a TXT X max dot run. So that actually runs the code. Finally, we're going to do a print line, and in this case, we're going to put up the label controlled from Arduino, and that's going to be right directly across the uh, top of the screen. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see these happen when we actually run this code. Now further, what we've also done here to our set point example is in our loop, we have extended the loop to say that if we exceed the set point, we're going to take a snapshot of the screen automatically. And we do that by affecting the code right under the sensor value greater than set point test. 
if the sensor value is greater than the set point, we're going to test to see if the LED state is zero. And if it's zero, then what we're going to do is come down here and affect the button snap, which is the button that controls the snapshots. We're going to turn the button on. We're going to run the snapshot event code. And then we're going to turn the button off again. And just like before, we're going to set the LED state equal to a 1. Otherwise, if it hasn't crossed a set point, then we set the LED state to a 0, and we turn the uh, LED either on or off, depending. Now, once again, this code is there to affect controls on MakerPlot that we would normally use our mouse to control, but this time it's going to be controlled by our Arduino. Let's go back to MakerPlot again, and let us start this code. But before that, let me show you something else. And that is, I went to the Configuration toolbar, and I pulled the Configuration drop-down menu, and I want to show you that DTR is enabled. Now, this is an important part, because if DTR is enabled, every time we click our rocker switch, that means we're going to send a reset command to our Arduino Uno, and it will then reset the firmware inside to begin from time zero. Okay, let's click our rocker switch and see what happens. Give it two seconds. There it is, controlled from Arduino. And we see several things happening. On the top, we see three uh, blue lines, which represent the three digital states of the SW1, SW2 push buttons and the set point, whether it's on or off. And on the bottom we have our uh, red plot, which is the set point value, which is initialized to 100. And the bottom black line is our pot control, which is really set right now to zero. Okay, once again, the function of this particular piece of code was to be able to take a snapshot of the screen every time that the voltage went above the set point. Not below it, just but just above it. So let's control our set point, bring it above. Aha, we've heard the click. We just took a snapshot. Let's take another one. And as you notice, on the top, that is our set point, and we are above our set point right now, so our digital line is a 1. We'll go below the set point. Digital line goes below 0. We'll go above the set point one more time, and go below it. Now let's come over here to our view snapshot. And this is the last snapshot that we took. Now you'll see that we have really captured the entire action up to this point. Now we can back up. This is the previous snapshot. This is the first snapshot of the potentiometer going through the set point value. Another thing we can do is come here to the log debug immediate window. What I'm going to do is turn the connection off. And I'm going to reset the connection. And before I do that, I'm going to check the controls so that we can actually see what is coming in from the Arduino. OK. There it is. This is exactly what came in from the Arduino when it first started. So this is a very powerful way of viewing exactly what happens when we have interaction between our Arduino controller and MakerPlot. Uh, going on to uh, part two of this video series, we'll show you more examples of how we can use MakerPlot to interact with the Arduino in a bi-directional manner.